Welcome to part two of our video tutorial for the WordPress online contract plugin. Um, in this video, we will be going over the short codes and how to add them. Uh, but first, before we continue, I'd like for you to take note of the short code for client's email, as well as the email page location, and then email client add and email list. These can be found in your settings. We will be discussing how those are integrated with the short codes in just a second. So, Previously, we talked about installing the plugin, um, how to download it, unzip it, and then we also talked about the dashboard and what people can see, as well as the setup settings for the plugin. So we've already discussed all of this in the previous video, which you can see in the link uh, down below. So for now, we are going to continue to our short codes. Inside of the short code window, we have some dummy short codes um, that we actually use um, for our agency. So if you want to kind of see what we're talking about in this video, you can view our demo, which is also a link inside of the description of this video. And you can kind of see how we have our plugin set up um, for our agency. So first thing we're going to talk about is a short code name. Short code name can be anything that kind of just quickly describes uh, what the short code is. So we have client name, due date, email address, so forth and so on. So that's a pretty self-explanatory section. This one is uh, the short code for the short code. Um, and it has to be set up this way, as in that it has to be all lowercase, no spaces, no dashes, um, no weird characters of any sort, uh, with brackets on each side. So if you have a client name short code, the easiest way to remember which one you're using is put client name, no spaces, lowercase, no weird characters, with brackets on each side. These will be used throughout the website. So if you remember from just a few minutes ago in the settings window, there was a section to send uh, the short code to send an email to a client. Well, we created the short code client email that goes inside of that. So based off of our first video, you'll see how we, we, we talked about it, what it does, and then we told you we'd show you how to set it up later. Well, this is us showing you how to set it up. It's basically just a short code that you're going to add that whenever the contract is set up itself, um, the plugin will be told which short code to use for the client email. Uh, so continuing on, a little bit more tricky is the short code function. Um, this basically allows you to do the math functionality inside of your short codes. So you can see on ours, we created two, one being a remaining balance. Um, so from here, you can see we have our contract amount divided by payment schedule. So let's say if we wanted to have half up front and half whenever it's finished, but we don't have to type in those numbers every time we do a contract. We set up the payment schedule as one half, and then the remaining balance is the contract amount divided by one half, and then that gives us half. And then we wrap it in a round with uh, two decimal points, the way it actually shows dollars. But you don't necessarily have to do that, but it will give you a pretty weird number if you have some weird math that's going on. So if you wanna have dollar values displayed, round it off, put two commas. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about the short code functionality, you just scroll down, it tells you a little bit about it, but it's pretty, pretty cut and dry. You basically just do a, um, a math function between varying short codes. Okay, so the next section is the options. The options is if this data type is a select box, your options would be, you know, if you want to have like a yes and a no text box, you would have yes, comma, no. Then if you saved it, you would actually have a select box that says yes as one selection, no as another selection. Um, so this is just a way you can go in there and set up multiple, um, you know, a drop down list of multiple options. Um, we also have a short code down here at the bottom called get user's email. You can read all about it here. This can be put in the place of the options at the top. So select get user email, and that will give you the user email addresses of up to 500 users in your backend system. So unfortunately at the moment, it only does the email address, but we're looking into a way to auto-populate other information as well. Um, <clears throat> So continuing on, the shortcode data type is exactly what it sounds like, where however you want the data type uh, of the field to be. So let's say, for example, we have a due date here. We don't want it to be a normal text box because of bad user input. So we select date here. And whenever they go to click on this box or you go to click on this box, it'll show a pop-up calendar. 
Um, same thing with the other ones if you want to have a checkbox display or text or text area or select box. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, what goes there. Descriptive text, another one that's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically just a one line, you know, one sentence uh, information about what the text box is. So whether it's being used on the back end or the front end, uh, people will know what they're supposed to put in that box. The next one is a function only. So as you can see on ours, we have our monthly amount functionality shortcode and our remaining balance of functionality shortcode as function only, meaning that they are not displayed on the administrative side or the front end side at all. They're used, so you can still use the monthly or the remaining balance shortcode in your contract templates, but as far as them being displayed where you can input data, they're hidden completely. Uh, looks like I was logged out, so let's log back in. So, <clears throat> lost my train of thought, but let's uh, continue on. Um, Okay, so these boxes are hidden in the background, uh, but they're still usable. Um, that just basically what that is, so you don't end up having to worry about typing in this box when you're not supposed to. It does all the math functionality, it gathers its own value on its own, so there's no need to display it. Uh, next is the visible on front end. Any box that is checked over here will be visible on the front end of your website. So if you remember in the previous, uh, video as well as the beginning of this video I talked about the settings where you have a, uh, a short code uh, at the bottom of your settings it's called client add you add that short code to one of your front facing pages and anything that's checked over here will be displayed as a form that the client can initiate a contract on um, so if you have like we do client name due date client email address client mailing address this is information they can provide to you they fill it out, they submit it, you receive an email saying that a client has initiated the contract and the contract is added as a pending or draft status in WordPress. Unfortunately, at the moment, that's the only way we can do it because WordPress doesn't necessarily like uh, people that are not logged into your system to be able to edit your system. So we set it up as draft, meaning that when you receive the email, you need to click on the link or log into your administrator and approve the contract. Once you approve the contract and you have it where it sends an email to this person or this email address, they'll receive a notification with a link to the contract that they can sign. Um, so this basically allows you to have a client initiate a contract, you approve it, they get notification, and then they sign it, speeding up the process a little bit so they can fill out some of the information um, about themselves without you having to ask them for it. Um, down at the very bottom, you can see a little bit more about the options and short code functions, um, as well as the get users email. Now, there is limitations because we don't want to bog down your website by pulling, you know, 10,000 email addresses if you have a large enough website, so it's limited to 500. Um, we're not going to be changing this just because we've had, when we first pushed it out, the results uh, would slow down people's websites. Um, so now we have a limitation set on it. If you don't want to use that and you want to use the regular email addresses, then that's fine too, whichever way you're more comfortable with. Um, so that can, this concludes the short codes portion of our video series. Um, so the previous version was setting up WordPress or setting up the plugin, installing it, and doing your initial uh, settings for the plugin itself. This one was about doing the short codes, and the next one we'll be talking about the contract templates. So we look forward to seeing you over there and uh, thank you very much.